Phillies select Julian Garcia, a right-handed pitcher from Metro State College in Denver, Colorado. Sophomore pitcher Julian Garcia was drafted in the 10th round of the Major League Baseball draft by the Philadelphia Phillies. Just picked up my phone and saw Julian Garcia, Metro State College, which is weird. I don't know. They didn't put <laughs> university, but it's okay. At least I saw my name. So, But no, it was, a, it was an awesome experience, and I just didn't even know what to what to think at that point in time. Like It's been a dream to hear my name get called, and especially that high in a and around, it's just, it's an honor. He was the 287th pick overall and will now begin a career as a professional pitcher. Playing for a living is nuts. It's just, it's your job. It's every day you wake up and you go play baseball instead of some guys have to go to the office or this or that, but I'm going to play the sport I fell in love with as a kid, so it's, it's a cool experience. While it may be a surprise to see a roadrunner get drafted from Division II MSU Denver, it was not a surprise to his college coach. You know, when we saw Julian work out, it was just a big athletic body. Um, he's a really, really good athlete. Um, and then the arm's just free. You know, it's effortless. You know, he can run it up there to 92, 93, and it's not max effort. It, it just it just comes out of his hand. It's a quick arm. Um, and then once you see the breaking ball, then you're like, oh, this guy can pitch. The Fort Collins native was great from the start, striking out 74 batters in 67 innings in his redshirt freshman season but then he flourished as a sophomore, breaking a school record of strikeouts in a single season with 95. 2-2 the count, swing and a miss in two straight innings. He has struck out the side, 11 total Ks. Coming in as a uh, freshman here out of Fossil Ridge, uh, I didn't really talk to any scouts really in high school here and there. I played outfield and started pitching my senior year and just kind of went with it. And I saw that I could throw hard and started to get my mechanics down. And once my velocity went up, I saw, you know, I had my curveball. I started believing that I could actually get drafted and do this thing. While Julian was just trying to win games for his squad, MLB scouts were watching his every movement. But that never deterred the 6'3 right-hander. It's a cool experience to look up. I think we were here at Mesa and you looked up in the crowd and with my first pitch I threw, I saw at least like eight or nine guns and I was like, wow, this is cool. You know, you can look at it kind of one of two ways. It's either pressure or opportunity. And Julian did a really good job of making it an opportunity for him instead of putting, you know, extra pressure on his shoulders while he was out there competing. Julian will now be whisked away to Philadelphia where he'll sign his professional contract and begin his career in the Phillies farm system. After playing in a mini camp this summer, he'll most likely begin his playing career next summer for the Williamsport Crosscutters in short season A-ball. The biggest thing is that he continues doing what he did here and competing every day and, and working towards that ultimate goal. You know, now his goal is going to shift a little bit. Now it's going to be about moving up, you know, from short A to, to double A to triple A and, you know, maybe the, the big leagues. And that needs to kind of be the shift in his goal. But as a person, as character and, and as work ethic, you know, Julian just needs to stay on that same course. As a kid, I always grew up, I'm a Cardinals fan, obviously. But I grew up in watching Pujols play against Ryan Howard and stuff like that. And so it's awesome to think, like, I'm going to the city of brotherly love to even just watch a game and just be taken out there. And it's just awesome. It's cool. It's a cool experience. From MSU Denver to the major leagues, Julian's head is spinning now. But soon it'll be the spin in his fastball that will have batters reeling in the box. It's nuts. It's crazy to think uh, me as a like a 165-pound kid coming in here my freshman year and didn't know what to do. I was so scared of Coach Otis. Didn't know what to do. I was uh, lost. I mean, came with my buddy Hunter Donaldson, now that's still playing here. And it's just crazy to think that I made a name for us in the program and made a name for myself. And it's just so cool. And I just want to thank everybody that's been a part of it, especially my teammates and Coach Otis and the administration here at Metro. And I wouldn't want it any other way.